Hiya, I'm Daisy and I like dolls. Today I have got my new Blythe. Uh, her name is Very Vicky. Uh, she is not a new doll in any real sense except that she's new to me. Um, she was released by Hasbro in 2010, I think. Uh, but if you are looking for her, I don't think that she would be that hard to find. I think that you can still get hold of her pretty easily. Uh, obviously, I have gotten hold of her. Uh, so, yeah, um, she is a really gorgeous doll. Um, she is quite Victorian. Uh, Vicky is short for Victoria. Uh, you can see her box uh, here, um, there's sort of little wooden style detail, almost looks like some carved roses, and then this really Victorian looking sort of wallpaper design, with the lines down the side. Uh, I really love that theme, everything Victorian, I really like. Uh, so yeah, I'm really keen to open her up and have a look inside. So let's see her up close. So here's our girl out of her box. Uh, I've dressed her up in a little accessory. She's got this really cute little straw hat with a little bit of lace on it. Uh, her hair is this beautiful soft brown color falling in soft waves down to her knees. She has the fairest skin type. Uh, she also comes with these little black tights and turquoise shoes. Uh, oh, her stand is this gorgeous brown colour, which I really, really like. <laughs> uh, we have a little bit of a look at her up close. We'll start at the top. As I said, her hair, I really love this soft brown colour of her hair. And the waves, uh, it's really easy to style when it's sort of in that lightly curled sort of style. A uh, little hat with the lace. Uh, she does have this gorgeous little beauty spot under her eye. Uh, and she's wearing, she's got pierced ears with some little gold studs in there. Her outfit is this very Victorian two-piece, kind of uh, in a sort of turquoise green. There are some pin tucks on the yoke here, some little black buttons and black bow decal. Gorgeous ruffles on the bottom of the shirt and little puffy sleeves. The skirt is A-line with a little bit of a lace detail around the bottom. And as I said, she's got the black tights and some little turquoise shoes with tan soles. I love these little shoes. I actually love the design of these shoes. I'd like some for me. <laughs> Uh, she is a beautiful, beautiful doll. Uh, her face mould is an FBL, I believe. Uh, and she's just got the regular flesh-coloured ring pull. And we'll have a look at her eyes. Her special eye chips are the light green left facing. But her other eye chips are orange, green right facing, and blue forward gaze. And I love that blue actually, it's a gorgeous colour. But I am loving her special light green chips there. Uh, so as I said, she is not uh, a particularly new release. If you want her, I'm sure that you can find her. Um, but just as a note, um, if you are new to the hobby, I would definitely recommend that you buy your Blythe dolls from uh, a reputable dealer. Um, and I would probably put Ginny Moon at the top of that list. Um, they can be a little bit more expensive to buy from somewhere like Ginny Moon. 
but you know that you are definitely going to be getting uh, a genuine Takara Hasbro life. There are a lot of fakes around these days, uh, especially on certain auction sites. Uh, I don't want to, you know, disparage anybody, but uh, it can be tricky. The fakes look incredibly good these days, so do be careful. If you are new to the hobby and you're not quite sure what you're looking at, uh, I would definitely say do um, some research, do a lot of research. Uh, they're not cheap. You are going to be spending a little bit of money on these dolls. Uh, and so, yeah, you want to make sure that you're getting the real deal. Uh, I definitely, as I said, recommend Juni Moon Shop, um, but I'm sure that there are other places that you can get them from. Um, I didn't get this girl from Juni Moon, but I did get her from an official Blythe Shop. Uh, dealer on her box there is a little uh, sticker that says it's you know from the official Blythe shop so yeah if you are new just be wary just something that I thought I would mention uh, there are a lot of fakes out there these days uh, and some of them do look really really good it's very hard to tell the fakes from the real deal so you know it's a really awesomely fun hobby. I love Blythe. I love dolls in general, but I really love Blythe. They're probably my favorite dolls uh, of all. So yeah, I hope that you like this girl as much as I do. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys with another review really soon.